What's good, YouTube? Um, I am way late in the game on this one. Um, it was getting a lot of traction, though. And I'm usually pretty... Well, I, I was probably... It was probably like at the end of when I was moving when he dropped this. Because it was like a couple weeks back. So I was still digging through boxes and shit. But, um, and then I probably just got lost with, with other things going on. But um, Dirty Money. Um, I haven't even heard it yet. Um... I he's he's where he's standing right now. So this is this is this one's gonna be uh, this one's gonna be political and dirty money. I have a feeling I, I kind of know some some place he's going with this, but um, you know Tom Tom's always Tom's always stirring up the pot and um, trashing Capitol buildings and whatnot <laughs> um, digitally verbally. Um, but yeah, so. Uh, We'll, uh, we'll try. Happy Friday, by the way. Um, it's like 7 a.m. where I'm at. So hope you all had a wonderful week, and, uh, and that leads into a wonderful weekend. So if, uh, if you're new to my channel, thanks for joining. Um, if you like, like. Comment down below. If you have any comments or recommendations or requests or um, thoughts or poems that you'd like to share or, you know, something nice to say to somebody, something not nice to say to somebody, it's, it's a platform for everybody. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll dive into, uh, oh, and subscribe. We'll dive into, uh, we'll dive into, dive into some Tom, man. I miss Tom. It's been a minute since I've done some Tom. So um, it might be too early for Tom, um, for me to be completely awake and listening to everything that he says and trying to comprehend and break apart things. Um, you know, cause he, uh, he, he digs deep in a lot of issues, especially politically. So um anyways um yeah let's go dirty money they're angry that they'll never shut me up i'm making more noise turn me up or turn me down it's your choice Black they're angry that they'll never shut me up i'm making more noise turn me up or turn me down it's your choice um no that's funny it's like it's like basically like uh i get a lot of shit but you're choosing to listen to me you can choose not to that's fine. Turn me up or turn me down. They're angry that they'll never shut me up. I'm making more noise. Turn me up or turn me down. It's your choice. Black lives only matter when they got a corpse to exploit. Because the media made millions off the protests for George Floyd. Okay. So, um, what do you say there? So, basically, the, the black lives only matter when they got a corpse to exploit. Um, because the media made millions or whatever he said off of, off of George Lloyd. So... That's true. Um, there's so much money to be made off of exploiting deaths, and and don't get it twisted. You know what happened to George Lloyd was, um, um, was was tragic, and it was you know a, a, a public execution in a sense. But, um, and then there's there's a lot of there's a lot of money to follow that. So dirty money, hence the topic. So. Lives only matter when they got a corpse to exploit Cause the media made millions off the protests for George Floyd That's called ad revenue, they make cash selling you All the crap in the ads while they broadcast news Ooh, the network Yeah, not just George Floyd, but like um, that's, that's what he means when they have a corpse to, to exploit So just waiting around for somebody to die, right? And then their life is going to matter So whether it's black lives, you know, whether it's whatever, whoever it is there, There's always going to be there's always going to be a target audience or a target group um, that's exploitable. Um, and there's people that – can you imagine what kind of piece of shit you would feel like if your job was to, to just kind of, you know, um, search the web, figure out, you know, just jump on, like, current topics and news articles as to, you know, who's been murdered or, you know, who's been raped or, you know, just if something awful happened to somebody, your job is to figure out how do I make money off of that. Special place in hell. For the liars got investment capital in segment sponsored by Pfizer and the Freedom Fight. Hold on, I missed that. That's called ad revenue. They make cash selling you all the crap in the ads while they broadcast news. Ooh, the network full of liars got investment capital in segment sponsored by Pfizer and the Freedom Fighters. I feel like the left just plans them to infiltrate the right. It's extensive planning. Then it happens overnight. It's impressive branding. Make a million off of shirts that say let's go branding. It's a cash. Yeah, that too, like the the whole uh, let's go Brandon thing. And there's, I mean, it's it's crazy. Um, like, it's just the, 
the division right now. Um, it's I don't know that there's any coming back for him, from it. To be honest with you, I don't I don't know I don't care what changes you know you you make. It's I feel like I feel like this country's like so far gone as far as division. There's no coming together on on fucking anything. Um, I mean, you know, regardless of who you voted for, or who your choice is, you you have people you have people that are that are over 70 years old, 80 years old, you know, they have seats, you know, and, and making choices, making decisions for us, um, you know, that have no idea, uh, you know, of, about like, I mean, people that are losing their minds themselves that have no idea the, the relevant state of, you know, current sort of cultures and subcultures and, and, you know, the, just the responsiveness that's needed to make actual, yeah, it's it's all a money game. It's it's he's 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 dead on with this. Opens overnight, it's impressive branded. Make a million off of shirts that say let's go branding. It's a cash grab, everyone's a lab rat. Amazon made billions of dollars from sanitizer and black mass, and that's that. Funny how that's see, and, and same thing with that. You know, you you have um you know big pharmaceutical companies, you mentioned Pfizer before, so in and, and Amazon even um you know making making millions, billions off of you know what a lot of people think was a very, very, very overblown virus. Um, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll withhold my own opinions on that, but um, it, it's, it's uh, yeah. And then like, you know, day one on that, they're selling a single mask for like, for like $95, you know, it's just, just absurd shit. Um, and then you look at numbers and there's, there's far worse shit out there that's killed far more people um, but cash grab. Lab rat, Amazon made billions of dollars from sanitizer and black mass, and that's that. Funny how the terrorists who attack always come from places that are oil rich and have gas. Democrats, they don't give a damn. What is this about? Our military trapped in the Middle East, can't get them out. Heroes are the ones who had the Constitution written down. Y'all are using hero while describing Kyle Rittenhouse. Ones. Heroes are the ones who had the Constitution written down. Um, what do you say there about it? we're we're glorifying Kyle Rittenhouse or making a hero out of him? You know what's funny? I was on his Twitter page the other day. Um, he's asking for money to like fund his lawsuits, like literally at the top of his Twitter page. Uh, if you want to support me, you can donate here. And it's just like it's 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 a it's a it's just a like give me money link. It's not even like a uh, a verified sort of in supportive thing. I don't think. Um, just for you guys who don't know, he was the guy that uh, that I think he shot up like three people, two died um, when there was like, you know, shit going down in Wisconsin. Um, this is a while back, but and then on his Twitter page, he was a uh, he was like he's he's turned into some like political or he's trying to turn himself into some sort of political face for like advocating for good causes. Um, it's it's a. Uh, it's a good read. <laughs> you should fucking check it out. Send to, send to. I don't even have Twitter. I'm not even sure how I find myself there. We get less and they get more. I insult since we were. Is that the hook right there? One cents, two cents, three cents. Four. We get less and they get more. The rich get richer. We get less and they get more. Facts. I insult since we were born. They want money. We want Dirty more. dollars. Fill their pockets while our coffins fill the ground. They make profit. So they're creating problems to keep us down. So a lot of this, you know, a lot of the, it, it's, 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 it's propaganda. It's a lot of the, a lot of the shit that you see and you read, you know, media directed, politically directed. Um, it's all meant for something. It's, it's all, our brains are filled with shit, just a ton of shit for a reason, for, for money. Um, and the more, the more controversy, um, the more people dead, the more money they're going to make. So it's, it's always a good thing when people are getting fucked up out there and um, shot at and, you know, <laughs> we have a uh, very, um, I don't know, I'm in a state where I have very easy access to guns. Um, you, could, you could walk into a gun store drunk as long as you're of age and can sign your name. Um, but now that I've done that, I'm just saying you, you very easily could. It's, 
but uh, it's uh, I lost my train of thought there. They make profit solving problems. They create to keep us. Okay, so they they create the problems, then they solve them. Um, so they they create the problems to keep us down. It's it's kind of a fucking toilet bowl, you know. It's just spinning. Uh, can you imagine like how bored, you know the the higher ups would be if if we if they if the problems were actually fixed and we had this actual functioning society that was utopian um, that you know everybody got along like they'd be they'd be in a fucking state of panic right like shit we have nothing to exploit we have nothing to do you know there's there's no problems to solve so we could collect our ridiculous salaries and and hang out and smoke cigars and drink some scotch and chat um should probably do anyways go golfing a lot should probably do anyways um or put our minds together because we're in charge we could probably come up with a new problem maybe uh maybe a disease uh we can construct a genocide a terrorist attack um how are we gonna make our next dollar Dirty For this song, it's all classified intelligence. Don't need <laughs> they might kill me for this song, it's all classy. He's like, he's like, yeah, I'm about to get canceled again. Um, <laughs> I love it, Tom. Keep, keep being you. I don't want your dirty mind. They might kill me for this song, it's all classified intelligence. Don't need to go to war to secretly be getting benefits. When Russia launches rockets, we condemn them, but there's evidence a U.S. politician owns the screws they're assembled with. That's some, that's some Tony Stark bars right there. So, um, <laughs> we are we are supplying weapons and we're we're then condemning the use of them makes a shit ton of sense right Russia launches rockets, we condemn them, but there's evidence a U.S. politician owns the screws they're assembled with. Ain't no war on drugs, it's economic. You make money off an inmate, every jail cell is profit. Also check out like the symbolism when he uh when he's wearing his mask and when he's not. Um and what he's talking about during the scenes that he's that he's wearing the mask, I think he's trying to be. There's something kind of. I think there's hidden meaning there. I, I wasn't paying attention to it throughout, but I just I just caught something there. Um, I'll rewatch it though. But there's something I don't want to go through the whole thing again. But um, he does this in some of his videos where he he purposefully prefers to be faceless um, when he's talking about certain things. So there's something to catch there. Ain't no war on drugs, it's economic You make money off an inmate, every jail cell is profit Our prisons are privately owned, illegal marijuana Just mean kids smoking weed, turn the dollars in their pockets Let's So true You think about like Shit, when I was in high school Like um, Like you could You could be in a lot of trouble um, If you carried the smallest amount I grew, I, I grew up in California So it's legal there now, right? Um, so you're not getting in fucking any trouble But I mean, there's shit. There's probably still people in jail that sold like two grams in like the fucking mid '90s, uh, late '80s, mid '90s that that are still in jail in states where it's legal, um, because it fills pockets. Um, keeping people in jail makes money. Um, so it's and it's funded by you and me, funded by our tax dollars, um, but. It's, uh, it's, it's nuts. <laughs> the, uh, yeah, that's, that shit's bullshit though. Like that, that that's, that there's no, there's no actual reliable sort of auditing system for, all right, what did this person do? And was it really that bad? Like there's so much pride, like it's okay to say that we fucked up and apologize and then give a person, him or her, a boatload of money. And it's not going to make up for years lost. It never will. Because um, fucking prison will fuck you up mentally. So there's, you, you can't put a dollar, you know, you can't put a dollar amount on that. But Let's be honest, domestic threats in comparison to nuclear powers who hate the West is embarrassing. Still, we label truck. True. Yeah. It's uh, so much money dumped into into defending, you know, against nuclear threats. Um 
I, I, I'll be honest with you. I've never felt threatened by a nuclear weapon myself. Um, I mean, there's adequate fail safes in place. There's, you know, there's proper defense mechanisms that are set up and there's, um, just somewhat of, I think, an understanding that you just, you don't, you don't really engage in nuclear warfare unless you're really, really ready to get fucked up and start a war, like a very, very big one. Um, but um, regardless, domestic threats are, are way, way more significant day to day than I'm more afraid to walk down the street than I would be if somebody told me that, you know, somebody launched a weapon that's headed someone in my general vicinity. Oh, that's just me. Domestic threats in comparison to nuclear powers who hate the West is embarrassing. Still, we label truckers in the convoy as terrorists and confiscate donations. We have no idea where it is. A pipeline leaks, price of gas goes higher. Stock market crash, everybody gets fired. Economy is weak, but we trying to beat a virus. One trillion. Economy is weak, but we try to beat a virus. Market crash, everybody gets fired. Economy is weak, but we trying to beat a virus. One trillion dollars in debt to China. We celebrate the smallest battles we're winning so they can publish the headline that's gonna fuel the vision. But if we champion celebrate the smallest battles we're winning so they can publish the head. We celebrate the smallest battles we're winning so we can we can so basically like clinging on to like the tiniest things like, oh hey, we did this. Um just to sort of mask like the the underlying larger issues that are going on that are not solving. We celebrate the smallest battles we're winning so they can publish the headline that's going to fuel the vision. But if we champion the crumbs, then it's crumbs that we're given. And we don't make any. If we if we if we listen and pay attention to it, then then we buy into it. It's the headline that's going to fuel the vision. But if we champion the crumbs, then it's crumbs that we're given. And we don't make any progress. We're stuck at the beginning. One cent, two cent, three cents, four. It's true. We don't make any progress. We're stuck at the beginning. It's the same fucking toilet bowl I just talked about. Like, um, like I'm. It, they say like, you know, with, I'm pretty sure like, it's just never ending recession anyways. So, I mean, I, I don't know better. I'm middle-aged ish. I don't, I don't know what you call my age, but um, I don't know. It's sort of what we're used to. So you, life gives you lemons. We get less and they get more. My insult since we were born. I think I want a grill. Can a dude like me pull that off? I don't know. I'd have to get more chains. I'd have to get like, I'd have to get real icy. Um, I mean, if, if he could rock it, I don't know. Get some, get some more tattoos. What, what would, what would it require? I, I think, hey, Oliver, you want a grill? My dog. We're going to get grills together. Can you imagine a dog, an actual dog, rolls up? He's all, hey. It's fucking shining. I, I'm way off topic. I'm sorry. It's still early for me. Dirty money. I don't want your dirty money. Money, 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 money. Johnny Dan, call me. I need grills. Like Paul Wall. Not enough soap to scrub. It's soaked in blood. Oh. Not enough soap to scrub, it's soaked in blood. It's all about the money, 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 money. Not enough soap to scrub, it's soaked in blood. Dirty money, okay. When you, when you, uh, when you like launder money and you clean it, when you're scrubbing money, that's what he's talking about. So it's, we don't have enough soap to scrub it. There's, there's no cleaning this money. Um, it's true. Money. Every time we make a buck, they take from us. It's all about the money, money, money. The dollar runs a lot until we die. It's all about the money, 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 money. It controls your mind and it controls it mind. Dirty dollars fill their pockets while our coffins fill the ground. They make profits solving problems they create to keep us down. Dirty money. Dirty money. I don't want your dirty money. 
Nice work, Nova. Nice work, Jared. Nice work, Tom. Um, sick. Yeah, no, I, I see, I see why, I see why this was getting all, uh, um, all hyped up and stuff, and and got a lot, a lot of traction real fast. Um, I mean, I was hearing about it on like, like radio shows and podcasts, and like right away. Um, and I didn't hear the song, but I heard the context. I'm like, this shit's about to be taken down before I even get a chance to see it. So I better, I better hop on it. But, um, I mean, you, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's Tom's lane. It's only Tom's lane. Um, Tom's always going to give you, give you truth and give you, you know, give you tidbits that, uh, we're all thinking, but very few people say, if any, um, he, it's it's great that he has he has a platform no pun intended with the visual there but he has a platform to uh to actually reach people with with messaging it's one thing if like me if i say shit you know and fucking a couple thousand people might see it or whatever um but with with his platform he can he can reach a lot more and the benefit of that is it it gets people thinking and when people are thinking they're thinking for themselves which is good um, because we get lost in this, this fucking battle with, with, with what we see in, you know, on television, what we hear about, you know, in our group of friends, um, just the shit that's spewed everywhere. What we read on, you know, social media is the worst. Um, cause it's all true. Everything's true that you read. So pay attention to the internet. It's the new encycl encyclopedia. I can't even say it. It hasn't been around for so long. We used to have one of those sets, the Encyclopedia Britannica. Like, uh, I don't know why I put my arms out, but it was a very, very large set on the, uh, on the bookshelf. Um, growing up, if you, if you want to learn something, you don't, you don't ask Jeeves. Nah, that, that wasn't around for a while. You, you, you can't ask Google. Um, you, you, uh, you open up a book. Isn't that crazy? And you try to find the page. You know, what type of hummingbird is this with the yellow on its back? And then you can figure it out. Uh, anyways, um, nah, classic Tom. Um, good stuff. Very true. Very, very relatable. Um, knowledgeable dude. Pay attention to what Tom says and protect this man. Keep him around. Um, but uh, yeah, if you like, like, um, comment down below if you would like as well. Um, and uh, subscribe, 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 and have a wonderful, wonderful. I can't fucking speak. I got a presentation once work starts in like an hour, so I need to work on work on my enunciation. Um, uh, have a wonderful rest of your Friday, and subsequently your weekend as well. And um, and yeah, we'll uh, we'll catch you on the next.